Evening everybody, welcome to the options evening video for GCSE Art and Design. So, why study art? If you enjoy being creative and want to increase your practical skills and improve your analytical communication and research abilities, art design is a great choice for you. The skills you gain in art make it a great complement to other subjects and can be invaluable in whatever career path you choose to do. Art subjects encourage self-expression and creativity and can build confidence as well as a sense of self-identity. Study studying art subjects also helps to develop critical thinking and the ability to interpret the world around us. In art, we learn to use lots and lots of skills that workplaces are looking for all of the time. So here's just an overview of some other skills that we would cover in art, as skills that can be invaluable in your progression through college and onto your working career. The GCSE course is made up of two sections. Unit 1, the portfolio, which carries 60% of the final marks, and Unit 2, the exam, which carries 40% of the marks. The portfolio is carried out throughout the entire of Year 10 and the first term of Year 11. It includes in Year 10 an introductory unit and then we follow up with a main unit which then is finished in Year 11. During the introductory unit we will cover a wide range of topics. These could be things such as natural forms, flowers, portraits, buildings, still lives, mechanical items. We will also cover a range of different materials and techniques. The idea is that you gain a better understanding of the different methods and techniques that are available to you in art and that you start gaining an idea of what type of things you like using and what type of items you like to draw. The main project for the portfolio will start in about the second term of year 10 and this will be very different for every student. It will be very individual. So every student in the class will have the option of choosing the topic of their own project. However, a few things will be taken into account. So we will take into account things like your interests, where your strengths in art um, are, how much scope the idea you have um, has to develop um, into a full project and how much research and artist influence is available to us to study. So this part of the course is very, very individual to you as an individual and will really play on your strengths and interests. So the final part of the course is the exam unit. Now this carries 40% of the marks and is set by the exam board. You will receive an exam paper from the exam board just like any other subject but this exam paper contains 15 different topics or starting points from, for a project, and you will need to choose one of them. The exam is practically based and is a full unit of work, and it follows the same development path as the portfolio does. It starts in the January of year 11, and the preparation work continues in every art lesson until the final exam day. The final exam day is normally around Easter time, where you will sit the 10 hour final exam. Now, the 10 hour final exam is a practical exam, but it is really important that you know that both the preparation work and the outcome are both marked towards the final grade that you get. So how is GCSE Art and Design assessed? Well, all work for GCSE Art and Design is internally marked by your class teacher and then a sample is moderated by a moderator from the exam board. Now all of the work for the portfolio and the exam are assessed on the same elements. These elements are called assessment objectives and I've just noted those down here. So one, critical understanding, two, creative making, three, reflective recording and four, personal presentation. So here we've got some more information detailing what's included in each of the assessment objectives. So A01, critical understanding. Investigate the work of artists, craftspeople and designers. Develop your ideas through sustained, focused and coherent investigation and document your own judgments and opinions. A02, creative making. Explore and refine your ideas. Review and improve your work. AO3, reflective recording. Use a variety of methods to record ideas, observations and experiences. 
convey your ideas in a clear and coherent way. And AO4, personal presentation. Present your own imaginative ideas and outcomes. Make clear connections between your work and that of other artists, craftspeoples and designers. So where does art take me? After you've done GCSE art, of course you will have all the art subjects available to you at A level or a higher BTEC level. But if we are looking further into careers in art, this um, image here shows lots and lots of options that are available from careers in fashion and textiles to graphic design, to fine art, to photography, to digital media. However, the skills that you learn in art are very, very sought after in many, many industries now. The ability to think creatively and look at other options and different ways of tackling ideas are absolutely vital now in all career paths. Well, thank you for everyone for spending the time to watch this video. I'm hoping I've answered quite a few of the questions that you may have had to ask. But of course, I will be available to answer any further questions or discuss the subject with you. I look forward to seeing you doing GCSE Art next year.